So is Evelyn Lozada a home wrecker? Hmm. Looks like the tea is being spilled early, okay? So y'all know Basketball Wives comes back on Monday, right? Monday night. Be seated in your seats, okay? Because we're going to see how all of this plays out, apparently, between Evelyn and new cast member Vanessa Ryder, okay? Vanessa Ryder, 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 okay, is an actual basketball wife, all right? Let me just go ahead and state that right off the bat. So how did things start? In order to give you guys this story, um, I'm going to have to give much of the credit to Reality Chat for putting the pieces together, at least from what I saw on the gram, okay? So let me give you guys the breakdown. The first thing that we saw, at least for me, okay, um, was Evelyn Lozada says, did you know there are two places you can stay for free? In your lane and out my business. 10-9 VH1, let the games begin. Hashtag liar. Hashtag looking for a moment. Hashtag mind your business. Hashtag basketball wives. So we know exactly what this is about. It's related to the show, right? Let's get it started already. So Shawnee taps in and comments with the looking eyes emoji. And then Evelyn responds and says, so ridiculous side eye. Okay. Um, look at the trailer. Here it is. There's a moment between Evelyn and Vanessa where Vanessa says something to the effect, you know, that she doesn't really like respect or like roll with like home records and stuff like that. And you see Evelyn basically tell her, I'm not going to let you sit right here and paint this picture of me that's not true. And you're actually embarrassing. So we know what this is about, right? So that was part one, all right? So then the next thing that we see online is a message from Vanessa Ryder. It's a comment, okay? So this comment basically reads this. Let's get into it. The comment reads, yes, Evelyn is a homewrecker. That's my opinion. That's my opinion! I was kept in the dark about who else was cast on Basketball Wives, and it was revealed to me strategically in real time. So I guess my question, well, it's not really a question. I guess what she's trying to tell us is that there was maybe she didn't really know who was on the cast when she signed on for filming. But I love this backstory that we're getting right here. She says, I've been contacted for 10 years regarding joining the cast because yes, I am a basketball wife. So it sounds like she was probably contacted when the show first began out in LA. She says, pun intended, I, I call it like I see it. Thirsty is going around through every league there is and leaving and coming back to a show five times. But if you want to play games, let the games begin then. Woo! 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 I mean, the shade starts early, as Evelyn says. So Evelyn now is giving a clap back or a response, so to speak. What do you think she had to say? Well, we can actually play it for you here. So let's get into it. All right. Turn the sound on and let's take a listen here to what was posted also on reality chat and then we'll talk about it hey everybody so i was sitting here in my office reflecting and thinking about this upcoming season of basketball wives uh which airs on monday on vh1 9 8 central and um i don't know i was just sitting and thinking about everything that happened this season and you know i will say i try really really hard to not discuss or put people on the show that don't want to be talked about on the show. Um, so I'm assuming she's talking about Carl Crawford here, but she's going to dive into it more. And maybe this is where the home record comment comes in at. I guess 
in my opinion, it feels like Evelyn is trying to, you know, get in front of this story because it's kind of already out there. So we got to let's let's go ahead and discuss it. My son's father is one of them in the history of doing the show. I've never needed to talk about Carl. I don't need Carl for a storyline. I was doing the show before I met Carl. Um, I have never discussed, you know, his personal business with, you know, the mother of his children. I also respect her and her privacy. Um, and everybody's not cut out for the reality TV world and they don't want to be a part of it. So I respect Hey, everybody. So I was sitting. So I say that all to say that I can't control what people bring to the table. I've been doing the show a long time. I feel like I'm always a target no matter what. People see a moment or think, you know, having a moment with this person is going to solidify my spot here, whatever that looks like. But I will always defend myself against bullshit. I, was, I will always defend myself against lies. Um, and my relationship when it comes to my son's father and what it was back then and what my so did she allegedly wreck a home norman norman get go, go back in the, in, in the archives and get the details on that relationship when it first started my reality was with him back then you know i can't control anything else other than myself so um yeah, it's just, you know, it's frustrating and it's 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 hard having to relive certain things all over again. But um it's just a part of the beast of what we sign on to do. You never know who's going to bring what to the table and really who's going to be a thirsty. Um so I'm going to leave another message. So I'm assuming she's calling Vanessa the thirsty. And lastly, let me just say this. If anything happened on the show, don't text me about it privately. You brought it on the show, it stays on the show. When I'm done shooting the show, I'm done shooting the show. I'm on taking care of my kids, my real life, my businesses, working out, drinking my water, and trying to stay out of fuck shit, okay? The show is not my real life. The show was whatever happened on the show, cool. It's done, I moved on, and that's it. Don't text me about nothing, period. Last so this leads me to wonder then, did Vanessa text her outside of the group chat, okay? Or outside of what was filmed to handle what is going to be potentially public? Because I mean, I can sort of rock with that statement of like, if you did or said something in public, then you probably should apologize publicly if that's going to be what it is, right? Like, people talk about this idea of, you know, um, the private apology to, for something that was done in public. I do feel like if something was done in public, then you should probably apologize publicly. You know what I'm saying? I just think that that's probably the best way to settle something if you're trying to settle it. But based on Vanessa's comment, it don't seem like she's trying to settle anything. Um, if anything, I feel like she's standing triple 10 toes down in whatever she said, she said what she said. And it sounded like Evelyn think that what she said was some BS, okay? I guess we will find out how all of this is about to go down when Basketball Wives returns on Monday, October the 9th. Be sure to be in your seat because we will definitely be recapping this show. All right, y'all. So th with that being said, that is all the tea that we got for y'all today. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next video. So I'm Richie Skye, the author and publisher of The Wickedest Wives, Desiree's Desire, which is book one in a series. This book is about redemption. It's the story of a disgraced journalist who has lost everything. And now she has to rebuild her life brick by brick. And what better way to do that than to join a reality TV show? Why not? Now, not only are we talking reality TV, so you know there's gonna be scandal, you know there's gonna be a little bit of deception, backstabbing, a little romance, and why not throw in a sprinkle of murder to really round out the excitement? So I really want you guys to dive headfirst into these books. 
Desiree's Desire is just the first of many to come. So I'm super excited for you guys to read this and I wanna know exactly what you think. So be sure to follow, like, share, and subscribe and stay tuned for more.